day nine. It is bright and early. Today is a big climb. So we're gonna get to climb um, all the way to Cruz de Ferro and then go down all the way to Ponferrada. It's about two days of what a walker would do. So it shouldn't be too bad, but it's a big climb. And, and when we climb, we do about the same speed as a, as a person walking. Uh, it's gonna be a cool ride. It's gonna be a, a slow ride up the mountain, but uh, I'm very excited. And we'll see. I'm gonna go check on JC, see how he's feeling. If he's ready and he wants to do it, he's gonna come with us. Otherwise, I'm gonna go meet Bill and we'll go up. Okay, you know the deal by now. We can't start our ride until we go over today's route. Today, we can divide it into two halves. The first half is a steep and steady climb up to Fonse Badon and Cruz de Ferro, while the second half is the quick descent into Ponferrada. During today's climb, we will pass a couple of small towns full of tiny little stone houses on the side of the mountain. We can expect the vegetation to change as we start to transition from La Meseta into what will become later Galicia. From Rabanal de Camino to Cruz de Ferro is an all uphill climb that will take the majority of the day. The Cruz de Ferro is one of the most important milestones of the Camino because not only does it stand at the highest point of the trail, but also is a monument in which peregrinos from all over the world leave a piece of them behind. We will talk more about this in a little bit. After the Cruz de Ferro, the Camino quickly turns into a steep descent with many switchbacks. On a clear day, the views from the mountain should be spectacular. Our stop for the day will be Ponferrada, which is a major city around a historic Templar castle. And according to the legend, the castle still holds secret Templar symbolism. We will have to check it out. Today's route is a total of 31 miles and 3,000 feet of elevation, so we better get started. Let's go get Bill. Say hi. Hola. Hola. We're all together now, ready to go. JC feels better. Um, we're gonna go up uh, the mountain to Ponferrada and to the Cruz de Ferro and drop their stones. All right, all the way at the end you see the beast, the mountain, the top of the Camino. Behind me, you see the teammates for the day. This one's called El Ganso, which means the goose. And it's very similar to most little towns around here. Hola, buen camino. Look at that nest on top of the church. It's a huge nest, that must be a big bird. Hola, buen camino. Hola, buen camino. Buen camino. Hola. Buen camino. JC. We're in Rabanal del Camino. We're about to go up the mountain. What are you looking forward to? Downhill. The down part of it. How After the hill. How about you, Bill? What are you for the experience? Experience yeah. going up, the happiness, the happiness. Over with. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to getting rid of my rock and putting it in there, and it's gonna be lighter the whole way from here. It's not very heavy rock, but it'll be something. The Cruz of Ferro is it's important because it's the highest point in the trail, it's the highest point in the Camino. Uh, it's also where pilgrims bring something from uh, their home or from the beginning of the, their journey and drop it off in the Cruz of Ferro. And it signifies that, you know, with it you're dropping off the weight of your back and any worries that you had, you drop them off in the Cruz of Ferro and then you leave as a, a slighter man or a woman. Uh, for me, I have this stone, it's not big, but it's some weight and it comes from Venezuela. I have done the whole 
Camino with it, carry it, you know, so far for more than 500 kilometers. Today I get to drop it off in there and, and leave lighter, hopefully with less weight on, on me and with less weight on, honestly, because it's from Venezuela, I'm hoping that it leaves less weight for the Venezuelan people too and, and hopefully we can get better and, and pick up from there. Good job, Bill. All right, here we go. There it is, the Cruz de Ferro, we're almost there, we camino. So we made it to Cruz de Ferro, it's the highest point of the Camino. People bring rocks from all over the world and drop them here, some of them obviously were here before. But people just keep bringing rocks, it's a very meaningful place, it's very cool peaceful. I brought my rock um, and I drop it and then we'll get going. Casey, how you doing? Yeah. Piensa más o menos lo que quieres decir. Ya estás listo. Okay. <laughs> Estamos en la castillo. <laughs> A que pongo esta mierda en el video de YouTube son de paquete de jodas. Uh -huh.